Car makers are doing some shifty and shady stuff to make working on your car and tinkering under the hood totally illegal, makes sense, you can preserve their profits that way, but at what cost? That is right. So, you know what a pain those plastic engine covers are. They're happening on new cars. They're these engines that stop you, make it more difficult for you to get under the hood and into the engine. But consider that black piece of molded plastic a metaphor for something worse. Now, the DMCA, or the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, is a pretty draconian law that's been introduced that people have had problems with. It was never really well thought out. It's basically a lot of special interest groups and industries got together along with the government. They said, you know, how are we going to stop this online piracy from happening? And it's just a terrible law. It doesn't make sense. You know, the regulation portion of it is terrible. But now automakers in new cars, you know, let's say in the 1970s when you went under the hood of your car, it wasn't nothing but rust and nuts and bolts, right? These days, your car under the hood is just as much, if not more, of a computer than an actually well-oiled running machine. Now, automakers are making an argument that this software should be protected under the DMCA. And what that means is when you go under your hood, and a lot of people do this, they tinker with the software the same way that they would tinker with you know, the engine or the parts or the transmission the way they used to. People do this and listen, here's my opinion on this one. Once you buy a car, it is your right to do whatever you want with it. If you want to get under the hood and mess with it, provided it's still street legal, I mean, even if you want to mess with it and make your car not work, that's your property. You can do what you want with it. But these people and these interest groups that are, uh, the Automakers Alliance specifically, but there are a couple others. They want to make it so if you tinker with your car, you are committing a copyright violation. This could also put small businesses out of work completely. You know, your local auto body shop who is working on your car and they might fix something in the code. This could block people from even being able to see the code that runs their car completely. It's a really big deal, folks. This is totally, totally, 100% only in the interest of the automaker. They make the argument that it's bad for the environment because someone could potentially raise the, you know, the amount of emissions that come from the car. Listen, I don't think that's any more of a problem than someone buying up a street legal vintage car and putting that on the streets and having it pollute, right? It's all about money, folks. That's what it comes down to. Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Uh -huh.